Joe Samson, a father to two minors, recounts the day in December 2020 when his family broke up due to what he says were financial misunderstandings after losing his job. Samson says the mother of his six and 12 year old daughters sent him out of their house and will not let him in. My wife was working, she had a job. My job was gone with COVID, so I could not provide for my family. An April 7th court ruling by Justice Joel Ngugi of the Nakuru Law Court said fathers can be granted custody of young children. In that case, he awarded custody to a man who had been caring for his child for six years while the mother lived abroad. Samson said the ruling will give fathers like him a chance to raise their children despite divorces. Most cases in the scenario, like in our country here, most fathers are losing custody of their kids based on gender considerations. VOA reached out by phone to the mother of Samson's children, Linda Njuki, for comment. Njuki declined to appear on camera but said, quote, I believe in myself. I can take care of my kids. She also expressed concern that children might suffer in a case a divorced man remarries. Advocacy groups like Kenya Men Engage Alliance say the Children Act is keeping some children under the care of incapable parents. There are so many men uh, who are capable of doing that role and actually implementing or doing it in, in a way that uh, the child will actually not uh, feel uh, left out or abandoned in a situation where the family has broken up. Fida Kenya told VOA that the best interest of a child is key in custody matters regardless of gender. The STEMI Memorial Mothers have been known to be the best caregivers to the children. This may not be true in all circumstances. That's why for each and every case, it's done on merit. You see, for this particular case, every case is decided on merit. Each case is different. Meanwhile, Joel Samson hopes the landmark ruling will help men like him change their own situation and win at least partial custody of their young children. Victoria Amunga for VOA News, Nairobi.